Variable radius fillets play an important role in designing consumer products and other complex shapes. Their simplest application is to create a fillet along an edge that changes in radius from one side to the other. Let's take a look at how to define a fillet like this. Like any other fillet, you start a variable radius fillet by clicking the fillet icon. I'll select the variable radius option in the property manager. Notice the full preview option is enabled. This will make it easy to see the effect of some of the options we'll be talking about. I begin by selecting this edge to apply the fillet. A variable radius fillet is defined by assigning radius values to two or more vertices. In this case, you can see two radius flags pointing to either end of the edge I selected. Neither of them has been assigned a value, as you can see. To assign a value, you can enter a radius here in the property manager. But how do you know which vertex you're defining? One way is to select the vertex from the list of vertices that appears in the property manager. When I click V1 in the list, notice one of the flags is highlighted in the graphics area. Now when I enter a value and press enter, you can see a radius has been assigned. I'll highlight the next vertex in the list, enter a radius, and press enter. We'll take a look at some other options in a moment, but first, let's concentrate on the effect of this transition setting here. If you take a look at the preview in the graphics area, you'll notice that the edge of the fillet is a smooth curve connecting the two radii. If I change the setting to straight transition, notice the edge of the fillet is a straight line. Of course, choosing the proper setting is entirely up to you and what your design calls for, but you should be aware of this setting in case you're not getting the results you expect. I'll click OK to accept these settings. Next, let's add another variable radius fillet to take a look at another important option. This time, I'll select the lower edge and I'll assign values to each vertex. Notice that instead of entering values in the property manager like I did before, I'll double click the flags in the graphics area to specify each radius. After entering a value, I'll press enter to see a preview. Notice there are points that appear along this edge. These are available control points that I can use to further vary the radius of the fillet along the edge. To remove or to add more of these available control points, I can change this value in the property manager. Although these control points are available, they are not active. Right now, I only have two control points, the two vertices. To activate one of these intermediate points, I have to select it in the graphics area. When I do, a flag appears allowing me to enter two values, a radius and a percentage value. This percentage represents how far along the edge this control point is located. At 50%, the point is located halfway along the edge. This can be a great tool, especially if you're working on a curved edge where it might be difficult to locate the exact center. Just type in 50% or whatever value you're interested in, and SOLIDWORKS will find it for you. I'll click OK and complete the fillet. Finally, I'll add one more variable radius fillet to demonstrate a convenient way to specify values for multiple points. I'll click the fillet icon and select variable radius for the fillet type, and I'll select this edge. Notice that because tangent propagation is enabled, one fillet will propagate all around. However, if I don't select the other edges, I won't be able to specify values at these other points. To enable these points, I'll select each edge, and you can see each point will have a flag for me to specify a value. This is when it can be convenient to use the Set, Unassigned, and Set All button in the Property Manager. Suppose I want every point to have a radius of 0.1, except two of these points. Well, rather than double-clicking each flag to enter a value, I can enter the 0.1 value and click the Set, Unassigned button. Because none of the points had a value assigned, they have all taken on the point 0.1 value. If you wish to make a change that affects all of these points, you can enter a value, 0.25 in this case, and click Set All. This will cause even the already assigned values to change. Finally, I'll double-click a couple of points and change their values. then click OK to complete the fillet. 